Hi, I'm Lenore. I've been a part of PBC for about nine years now. And in January this year, I went on a short mission trip with WEC to Turin, Italy. And this is my story. About halfway through last year, I tentatively contacted WEC um, to ask them if it would be possible for me to do a short term mission. So they contacted Italy. They replied, yes, we'd love you to come. We've been praying for an English teacher. I'm an English teacher. And we would like, if you would like, would you like to run an English for mission course for 10 days? I wrote a 10 day English course for um, Italian adults. And then about that time, my son said, well, if you're going to Italy to do mission, I'd like to come too. He's 20. So that was a, a real blessing and surprise. The English for mission course was basically for uh, their short term missioners that go regularly about three or four times a year to European countries like Bulgaria and also to North Africa and Egypt to do short term mission. But the problem is that they have to always go through interpreters, which is cumbersome and expensive because their English isn't really at a good level and they're not confident enough to use their English to share their faith. And the countries that they go to don't speak Italian. So to be able to upskill them, to be able to share their faith was a really big thing. Also, many of them were considering going to Bible college in the Netherlands at Cornerstone, which is the WEC Bible college there. And to do that, their English has to be at quite a high level in reading and writing as well as speaking. So that was my job to write a course that could actually help them upskill their confidence to share faith, but also upskill their confidence to be able to um, apply for Bible college and then eventually, hopefully, go to Cornstone um, in the Netherlands. So for 10 days with um, our two Australians, two people from Britain, the four WEC team, a local cook who cooked us amazing food every day, from nine o'clock in the morning till six o'clock at night, we met and we studied English, we prayed, we um, took it in turns to lead devotions and share our testimony. I taught them how to use Bible discovery method so that they're able to read the Bible confidently with anyone in any language. At the end of the 10 days, we felt like God had made us all strangers into a family. Many of the students said that they felt confident to be able to continue their English studies to um, hopefully go to Bible college. And all of them said that they were a lot more confident in sharing their faith, which was one thing we practiced a lot, and, and sharing Bible stories about Jesus and reading the Bible with people. So that was really successful. My son continued on his journeys, his traveling, and I stayed and shadowed the four missionaries in Turin. During that time, I helped run homework clubs for children, immigrant children, and visited refugee centers and helped teach North African illiterate women um, Italian. The two standout things on that time was just how God kept showing up. And I know I shouldn't be surprised at that, but I was. So, you know, my son and I were quite sick at times. We were able to sustain those long days together even though we were physically not well. In addition to that, there were many times when it was, there was, we had anxiety about certain things that were happening or not happening. Um, we didn't know where we were gonna eat dinner sometimes. And yet God just showed up each time and provided for us and, and made that next step clear when, when we needed it to be clear. I learned a lot about trusting God and the fact that God had already gone before us and I learned a lot about God being everywhere and, and working in people's lives profoundly. And God being able to use me just, just because I said yes to do amazing things. If I was gonna say anything to any of you that are interested in doing a short-term mission is I'd say go for it. It's, a, it's an amazing experience. You don't have to wait until there's an organized group to go you can actually contact the mission, mission society that you're interested in and, and ask them, um, can I do a short-term mission trip to uh, the country that is on your heart? 
it says in Matthew that the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. And that is still the case in, our, in the 21st century. I, I was astonished by just how big the need is over there. In, and that's just in Italy. That's not Europe. But the, the need is great in Europe as well. 160,000 refugees every year go through Turin. And that's Turin alone, not the rest of Italy. And there are other missionary societies working. But from WEC, there are only five WECers in Italy. That's it, only five. And the, the other missionary societies I know are small too. Um, so I was quite overcome with the need um, for anyone who has any skills, or just a willing body that wants to turn up and help. Um, there is a great need for everybody. Yeah, thank you.